Hey kiddos, we got cut off early today. So I'm reading this story and I'm not gonna do any editing. I'm just gonna read it straight through as if we were still in class. And um, then I want you guys to share with me what you thought of it when we're all done, okay? So let's see, this is jalapeno bagels. Do you guys know what jalapenos are? They're hot peppers. You guys like spicy food? So this is Jalapeno Bagels by Natasha Wing and it's illustrated by Robert Casilla. Do you guys remember the author is the person who writes the story and the illustrator is the one who draws the pictures. So I wanna make sure you guys can see. What should I bring to school on Monday for International Day? I asked my mother. My teacher told us to bring something from our culture. You can bring a treat from the panaderia, panaderia, panaderia. Ooh, that's a tricky word. She suggests, panaderia is what mom calls our bakery. Help us bake on Sunday, then you can pick out whatever you want. It's a deal, I tell her. I like helping at the bakery. It's warm and everything smells good. Do you guys see? Oh, look, there's mom waking him up. See? Early Sunday morning, when it was still dark, my, mo my mother wakes me up. <clears throat> Pablo, it's time to go to work, she says. We walk down the street to the bakery. My father turns on the lights. My mother turns on the ovens. She gets out the pans and ingredients for pan dulce. Pan dulce is Mexican sweet bread. I help my mother mix and knead the dough. She shapes rolls and loaves of bread and slides them into the oven. People tell her she makes the best pan dulce in town. Maybe I'll bring pan dulce to school, I tell her. Next, we make empanadas de calabazas. And patatas de cabazas. I'm not very good with the Spanish words, but these are really cool. They taste really yummy. Pumpkin turnovers. I'm in charge of spooning the pumpkin filling. Mama folds the dough in half and presses the edges with a fork. She bakes them until they are flaky and golden brown. Some customers come to our bakery just for her turnovers. Those sound yummy. And pumpkin starts with P, right? We're learning about the letter P this week. Maybe I'll bring empanadas de calabaza instead. You'll figure it out, she says. Ready to make chango bars? Chango means monkey man. Mama lets me pour in the chocolate chips and nuts. When she's not looking, I pour in more chocolate chips. Do you see him there? He's pouring in extras. See that? I could bring chango bars. They're my favorite. Mine too, says Mama. This batch should be especially good. I put in extra chips. So both mom and Pablo put in extra chips. So they're gonna be extra chocolatey. Do you guys like chocolate? All right. Ooh, we got something else being made here. My father calls me from the back room. Pablo, come help me with the bagels. Papa speaks English and Yiddish. He learned Yiddish from his family in New York City. I know some words too. Babi babi means grandmother. He uses my babi's recipe to make the bagels. First, he makes the dough in a big metal bowl. Then he rolls it out into a long rope shape. He cuts off pizzas and shows me how to connect the ends in a circle. We put the circles on the trays where they sit and rise. So he's making circles. We made circles on our pizzas today, didn't we? While we are waiting, my father makes challa, challa, Jewish braided bread. He lets me practice braiding challa dough at my own counter. It's a lot like braiding hair. The customers say it is almost too beautiful to eat. Maybe I'll bring a loaf of challa to school, I tell Papa. He smiles. When the bagel dough has risen, he boils the bagels in a huge pot of water and fishes them out with a long slotted spoon. I sprinkle on poppy seeds and sesame seeds and then, go, and then they go in the oven. Maybe I could bring sesame seed bagels with cream cheese. No lox? Lox is smoked salmon. 
My father's favorite bagel is pumpernickel with, with a smear of cream cheese and lox. I crinkle my nose. Lox tastes like fish. Jam is better. What do you guys think? Would you want fish on your bagels or would you want jam on your bagels? Hmm? My mother joins us and helps my father make another batch of bagels, jalapeno bagels. My parents use their own special recipe while Papa kneads the dough. Mama chops the jalapeno chilies. She tosses them into the dough and adds dried red peppers. We roll, cut, make circles, and let them rise. I can't wait until they're done because I am getting hungry. You see, they're all working together to make the bagels. Have you decided what you're going to bring to school? Asks Mama. It's hard to choose. Everything is so good, I tell her. I look at Papa, except the locks. You should decide before we open, warns Mama, or else our customers will buy everything up. I walk past all the sweetbreads, chango bars, and bagels. I think about my mother and my father and all the different things they make at the bakery. They make a lot of different things, don't they? Do any of the things that they make sound yummy to you? What would you pick out if you were going to take it? What do you think? Hmm? And suddenly I know exactly what I'm going to bring. Jalapeno bagels, I tell my parents, and I spread them with cream cheese jam. Why jalapeno bagels? Asks Papa. Because they are a mixture of both of you, just like me. So he decided to take something that was a mixture of both his mom and his dad, because both of them came from different cultures. We're gonna talk more about cultures and what those are a little bit later. So in the back, there are two recipes. I'm gonna kind of show them here. And I will also get those sent out for you parents, and just in case you guys wanna make something together. So I want you guys to talk about some of the stuff that they baked in here, some of the stuff that the kids would have liked to have or maybe learn to make themselves and how they're related to making pizza and how they're similar. I really enjoyed seeing those of you today who are able to make it and I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.